Welcome everybody, it's Telman. In this video, we are going to be talking about something we haven't been able to talk about for a while now, and that is World War II zombies. And this is kind of crazy, the information we got, because the, what this is, is the trophies for all of World War II. So there's campaign, multiplayer, and most importantly, and the one we're going to be talking about inside this video, zombie trophies. Now there's 10 in total, and we're just going to be going through all of them, reading through absolutely every single one. And with that said, this is going to hold spoilers for the upcoming mode, so if everyone one wants to just stay away from those or anyone I should say not everyone wants to stay away from any of that then go ahead and click off but for everyone who wants to stay let's get into this so the first one we have is fireworks in the final Reich retrieve the artifact and first things first let's look at the name of that map oh that's so cool the final Reich that is the name of our map and that's crazy that name is golden I love that name so much the final Reich just oh it feels so good saying that but it's a super cool name I'm happy they went with that and not the one everybody else was saying what what was it um the armory of the dead but I'm happy they didn't go with that one and they went with this one because this one is 10 times better but now focusing on the trophy itself we see it says retrieve the artifact now the artifact that I'm assuming they're talking about is Barbosa's sword because that's the only one we really talked about there's also that painting but I don't think the painting would be an artifact Barbosa's sword is a Roman Emperor's sword so I'm thinking that's more of an artifact than any painting well then that painting I think that one was newer but anyways it does seem like it's going to have to do with the Barbosa sword just based on off of all the merchandise they've been selling of the Barbosa sword but also a thing to point out is what this trophy is actually called and how it relates I really don't know because it's called fireworks and how is that going to relate to the artifact one I just I just don't know but anyways going on to this next one and this one I just I just don't even know what to say about this one this one is something else it's called dark reunion in the final Reich save claws and oh my gosh who knows what that is? Raise your hands up. Of course you guys know what it is. Claus is Maria's brother, and that's the whole reason she's going over there. Of course, she told everybody else she was going over there to retrieve all the historical artifacts from the Nazis, but she really went over there to save her brother, and it looks like she's going to succeed at it, of course, if you complete this trophy. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the, the Easter egg of the map or what, because it could be, could not be. I'm just not sure at this point, but I just don't know what to make of it at all. But anyways, going on to the next one, we can't go a moment without throwing a big old surprise at us because this one is called pressure cooker in prologue survive until wave 20 now who noticed something wrong about that one of course instead of saying in the final right it's called in prologue so are we getting two maps on disc oh my gosh that what that's so cool is that actually happening or is it maybe it's just a sub mode or something like that I just don't even know it just I don't know what to make of it right now because it could be something else and I actually like the name of the map because it's called prologue so if it is the name of the map and there's also some rumors going around that it's going to be a map that you unlock after doing the Easter egg so that could be the case and what prologue obviously means as a word is talking about before so maybe this is going to go further back into the story before all of this any ever happened maybe I'll tell Straub's story or Claus's story before the Ark normal crew actually showed up. Maybe that's what that map is going to be. I just can't wait to see what prologue is and I just can't wait. But I don't know. I imagine it's going to be like a giant map, not that big and just, just going to be there. But we'll see when we actually get the game. Next one we have is Red Mist. In the final right, get 10 kills from a single bomber's explosion. I don't really know what to make of that, but it sounds just like one of those simple trophies they always have, so we're just going to go over it. Watch as that be the actual main easter egg. But anyways, the next one we have is actually we're going to come back to this one. I want to actually go to the Lightning Handler first, because this one will kind of spoil, because if I read Dark Arts before this, it kind of spoiled. But Lightning Handler says, in the final right, build the Tesla gun. And oh my gosh there's a Tesla gun for some reason it feels like we knew about the Tesla gun before but I just can't remember when we heard of it for some reason I felt like oh that's why because if you go in the codes for the Wonder Waff, it's called Tesla gun that's why it sounds so familiar but it looks like they're also going to have their own Tesla gun and I cannot wait to see what it is now returning back to dark arts we have in the final right build all variants of the Tesla gun well it looks like we're going to have variants of it so we gotta get supply drops. I'm just kidding guys but it looks like it's going to be similar or how I'm imagining it, I'm thinking it's going to be similar to how the bows work. You get the standard bow and then you upgrade to these different variants and instead of that, it's going to have the Tesla gun and you upgrade into different variants. Which I don't know how many different variants
experience you could get with a Tesla gun because I think they're all going to use electricity, right? Maybe just different types. I guess there are different things. I don't know, but we'll have to see when we actually get the map because I just kind of wait to see what this Tesla gun and its variants are. Next one we have is Strike. In the final Reich, knock over 10 zombies with the whistling charge. Now I actually translate this word whistling and it actually translates into libertine. And I didn't know what that word meant, maybe it's just because I'm an idiot, but what libertine means just for the idiots like me, it actually means someone who is freed from slavery in ancient Rome. And this again seems like it's going to relate to some Barbosa's sword type of deal thing because Barbosa was also a Roman emperor, so this is kind of going to relate to it. I'm just thinking it's going to be like a weapon that we're going to be using because if you look at the image it looks like a shield, so maybe we're going to get the shield back, I don't know, we'll have to see. Next one we have is lurking around. In the final Reich, and oh, I don't know if I can finish reading this one guys, in the final Reich, find and shoot Dr. Straub. And oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that because Straub, he seems so cool. I don't know if you guys watch a Comic-Con thing of him. His voice acting, the guy who voice acts him is golden. Oh, it's so good. And oh, hopefully they don't kill him. Hopefully we just injure him and he goes on, survives. Maybe he mutates his arm and then becomes a boss later on or something like that. But hopefully he doesn't die this early on. He seems way too cool to die this early on. Of course, I don't know if he's actually cool, but just based off his voice actor alone, I'm already liking him and I hope he doesn't go this fast. Of course, it doesn't say to kill, so hopefully it's just shooting. But after that, we have Undertaker. In the final right, kill the bomber with the shovel. I don't know what that actually means. A bomber, maybe that's going to be a different type of zombie. It's probably going to be, considering from what we've seen from all the trailers and stuff. Hopefully there's not too many variants of zombies, but we'll have to see when we actually get the map. But now for the last one, White Knuckles. In the final right, survive past three pest waves in a single match without getting hit. So this is kind of seeming weird, and if you guys actually look at the image for this trophy, you can kind of figure out which one's going to be the pest zombies. It looks like the ones from the trailer, and I'll actually put an image if you guys forgot. So those ones are, seem like they're actually going to be the pest zombies, and this is kind of worrying me because I hope they don't do another exo zombie thing, because if you guys remember, there were these really, really, really stupid rounds from exo zombies that you would get infected by a zombie, you had to go cleanse yourself in this toilet area, and it was just so annoying, and it really... I was really not a fan of it, so hopefully they don't do that again. Maybe it'll be something similar to that, and maybe it'll be not as annoying. So we'll see when we actually get this. But anyways, that's about it for all the trophies. Tell me what you guys think about this. What do you think about Prologue? What do you think about saving cause, shooting, Straub, getting a Tesla gun? I just don't know. Tell me what you guys think about all this stuff. But if you guys did enjoy this video and left a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, shared, or anything like that. I thank you guys so much for doing so. But that's about it for me. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.